Wrightsville church friends. This is Miss Donna. I just want to tell you how much I'm missing you at church and wiggle worship and in Sunday school and pray that you all are safe and having a good summer so far and can't wait till we all get back together again at church and be able to hug on each other and say hi. So our lesson today, this Sunday, is taken from the book of the Bible written by a man named Matthew. He shares a story that Jesus told to a group of his followers. This story was a lesson that is called a parable. It is about a wise man and a foolish man who both built houses. It is called the wise and foolish builders. Does everybody know the difference between a wise person and a foolish person? Well, I think of a wise person as being somebody who is understanding and makes good choices. And a foolish person is somebody that maybe is a little bit silly and doesn't have a lot of really good sense. So let me read the Bible story to you now so you can see uh, what Jesus was trying to teach us. These are his words. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house on sand. The rain came down and the streams rose and the winds blew and beat against that house and it fell with a great crash. So what was happening with the weather in this story? Maybe it's something like what's happened to us in Wilmington over the last few years with a bad storm or hurricane, right? In the story, the foolish man built his house on what? Sand, that's right. Who ever heard of building a house directly on the sand? At Riceville Beach and at most beaches, houses are built on big, huge pilings that are pounded into the sand so that the house is up off of the sand and won't get affected by rising tides and winds and, and bad rains. Sure, so the house isn't likely to fall with a great crash and wash away from a bad storm of wind and rain. The wise man built his house on rock. Have you ever walked through your neighborhood and seen a new house being built in, 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 near you? The first thing that the contractor does is to lay a really thick layer of concrete poured to make a solid foundation or base for the house to be built on, similar to the rock used by the wise man. That way, rain and wind hopefully won't damage the foundation of the house. So how do you think you would feel if you and your parents spent a long time building a house and it fell to the ground from a strong storm? Let's go back to the Bible story again. So who built the house on the foundation of rock? That's right. The wise man, the man that made good choices, the man who has understanding. Can you think of other things that have foundations behind, besides a house? Maybe your school, or your church, or a, a tall building downtown Wilmington, or, or even the roads. What makes sand a bad foundation? Well, we've already talked about that a little, little bit, but when it gets wet and windy, it can just kind of cause a house to fall over. We don't build them that way anymore. 
Jesus was teaching his followers important lessons about living like God wants him to. He chose a story about two builders to show the importance of a good foundation. People need good foundations to be strong too. Reading the Bible and living your life according to Jesus' teachings will give your life a strong foundation. So let's see what happens to my little house here when it is on a foundation of sand and then on a foundation of rock. I've got some water and I've got a fan and let's see what happens to this little house. So here's the hurricane, wind, 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 wind blowing. And here comes the storm. And the, and the waves, everything's pouring over this little house. And look what happened. The house on the foundation of sand crashed to the ground. Just like it would have happened with a foolish man. Okay, now, let's try my little house on the rocks. Okay, friends, so here's my little house now on a really big rock. And I'm going to pour water, and hopefully it is going to have a very firm foundation and will not collapse. See? The house stayed put. It had a firm foundation. It was built by a wise man. So now we're going to have a little bit of fun. I have a little play and it has three characters in it. It takes place in the Sunday school class. And when I have my scarf on, I'm going to be the Sunday school teacher. When I have my red hat on, I'm going to be a foolish boy in the classroom. And when I have my blue hat on, I am going to be the wise boy that's in Sunday school that day. Are you ready? So let me set the scene. There are two boys sitting in the Sunday school class. And now the teacher, and this is my teacher scarf, says, everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock. What does that mean to build your house on a rock? Uh, what did you just say? I, I, I don't know. Teacher, I think it means to do what the Bible says and to use it in our lives. Excellent. We need to obey the Bible. But why? Let's keep reading what Jesus says. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew the house. But it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. So, what did that have to do with why we should obey the Bible? Well, I think that Jesus is saying that we, if we build our lives on a firm foundation, his word, then we'll be able to stand when troubles come our way. But uh, I don't know. It, it, that just seems like a lot of work to me and, and not much fun. Let's 
move on to see what Jesus says if we don't build our lives on a firm foundation. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. Why would someone build their house on sand? Wow, it would be easier and quicker because you wouldn't build a foundation for your house to sit on. Well, um, that's the way I would do it, quick and easy, just like the way I do my chores. I just do enough so that my mom gets off my back about doing it. Well, now let's see what Jesus says about how it turns out for us if we keep, take the easy way out. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew the house and it collapsed and was completely ruined. So what happened to the house? Miss Donna, it fell down. And the teacher said, why? he didn't build it on a firm foundation. Well, what does that mean for our lives? We want to have more knowledge of God and his word so that we know how to live our lives and handle situations that come up every day. Wow, so I guess that means if I don't want my life to turn out badly like the foolish man's house, I need to listen to what you're teaching me about the Bible. Yes, it takes work, but it's worth it. God doesn't promise that we won't have any troubles in our life, but he gives us the tools in order to deal with them better. Well, I think I'm going to start paying attention in class so that I can learn how to handle my life better and become a better person. We can all work on it together. So now that we've studied the Bible story and we've shown what happens with sand and rock, you might ask your parents about the foundation of your house. What does it look like? Is it made out of rock? Is it made out of concrete? Is it made out of bricks? Then talk to them about the importance of a good foundation for a house and for living your life as a Christian believer. Let's pray together. Close your eyes and bow your heads, please. After I say part of the prayer, will you please repeat it after me? Dear Jesus, thank you for the story of the foolish and the wise builder. Lord, we thank you for giving us the tools to live a good life. We thank you for teaching us that we need your word as the foundation of our life just like building a house on solid rock. It is in your name we pray. Amen. Thank you all. See you soon. Bye-bye.